Hello, this is Professor BRB. And in this video, we will be creating a character style uh, to format these subheads here. And we will be uh, creating a swatch uh, within our InDesign document. So I want to make these subheads larger and in a color. When I go to my swatches panel, I see that all I have are the just very meager default swatches of InDesign. In order to add a new color, I go to my swatches panel menu and just choose new color swatch. And I have all kinds of choices here. I want to choose a process color. And under color mode, I can either just mix my own color in CMYK for print, or I can choose any one of these color libraries. And I'm going to choose the Pantone CMYK uncoded library because I can check those colors against my Pantone printed book and make sure I'm going to get exactly what I want. And going down in here, looking at my Pantone book, I chose a Pantone uh, P49-8, uh, which is a nice kind of a rusty red color. And I'm just going to add that. So now that's in my swatches panel. And I can use it for my character style. So um, I'm going to select this text. And apply, or create, rather, a character style. New character style. And I'm going to call it red, red sub. I'm going to click here, apply style to selection. Go to my basic character formats. And um, I want this to be a little bit bigger. So rather than 11 point, I'm going to go to 14. And my font style, I'm going to change to semi bold. And my character color here, I scroll down here, I can see it's got the red that I just uh, chose. And I click OK. So that looks great. So I can just go now to all of my subheads. Oops. And apply that. Uh, one thing that I should mention is that if you have applied a paragraph style uh, to your text, that the character style will always override the paragraph style. So in a fight between paragraph style and character style, the character style always wins. Uh, as I'm working with the subhead, I noticed something else that I should correct in this document, which is uh, a capitalization error. Notice that in my subheads that block printing, movable type, and Gutenberg Berg's genius uh, are all capitalized, and that this one, the word printing isn't, and it should have been. So it's always good when you're working to try and notice those little errors and correct them wherever you can. Uh, next, I would like to create a drop cap. And we will do that in the next video. I'll show you an example of what that's going to look like. We're going to create a drop cap uh, and a nested style in order to be able to apply that instantly um, to whatever paragraph we like. So thank you, and I hope you'll tune in to the next video.